Am I live? I am. Hi, guys. I wanted to pop on here today to design with me. Oh, shoot, I didn't put the title in. Oh, well, I meant to put design with me. <laughs> so, Teresa Kogut's personal meeting room. Say hi if you're on here. It's kind of an odd time. It's Saturday, 3.35 Eastern Standard Time. So I know y'all are busy on your weekends, but I just wanted to get this done so that I can give you the free pattern. So anyways, if you're on here, say hi. I'm gonna get working on this. Last time I did this, Wednesday, I started this and I could not figure out how to get it to stop on YouTube. It recorded like an extra half an hour on YouTube after I was done. And I, fiddle farted around with it and just kept trying and kept trying. And I finally figured it out. I had to do it through YouTube. I mean, I would assume, you know what they say about assume though. I assumed that when I ended the meeting on Zoom that it would stop recording live on YouTube, but that's not the case. To me, that's a glitch in the system. I think it should, but so I had to figure it out on my own. I mean, I was like desperate and I was going to Google and trying to search how to end a meeting on YouTube using Zoom and all this. I could never find an answer. So I figured it out myself though. So do we have anybody here? <laughs> I just finished, um, recording my floss tube video, editing it and getting it all ready. So when I go up to the house, I will be uploading my floss tube video. Maybe I have to, you know what? I have to click on that. I need to turn the volume off. Maybe this will work. <clears throat> so this tree, all right, cool. Now <laughs> There are people here. Now I can see you. I just wasn't on the right page. All right, so there's 12 people on here, cool. Hi, Cheryl, hi, Donna, hi, Lily, Mendy. Anything blue, Janet, how are y'all doing today? Hi, Tracy, North Carolina. Your first time catching me live. Well, don't get too excited. <laughs> uh, so, so Cheryl, are you back home yet? Are you still at your mother-in-law's? I know you told me. I just don't remember. And hey, while I have you on here, I don't know if you watched my last floss tube, but I was mentioning that I have um, a satin varnish on the angel painting. So it's kind of it's glossier than I would think for a satin varnish. It looks glossy to me. But the reason I did that is so that the gold paint would still be shimmery. So I wanted to know if you wanted a matte varnish on that or do you like it the way it is? And so anyways, just throwing that out there. I've been wanting to email you about it and I keep forgetting. Welcome everybody. Hi, hi Mary. Snowy Wisconsin. Okay, you're still in California. Okay, cool. No problem. Um, yeah, it's rained all, like in the last night it rained, like major rain and it's been raining all day. The good news is our pond's getting full, but the temperature is supposed to drop. So it's supposed to freeze. And my husband's gig was canceled for tonight. So we're just hunkering down. He went out and got fuel for the generators. Like we're prepared. This is the cool part though. 
You know, sometimes when you're prepared, you don't lose power. When you're unprepared, that's when sometimes things go wrong. So we're really hoping we don't lose power. You like it the way it is, cool. All right, good to know, thank you. So in case you're not aware of what I'm doing here, I am on my laptop in my studio. I am using Mac Stitch. That's what I use to design my cross stitch. And this is going to be a free pattern. I showed, I think it was five different sketches and everyone got to vote on which one they liked best. And this was the winner, Cat Over the Willow. So I'm charting it. And when I'm done charting it, there will be a PDF on my blog. Excuse me, my husband's calling. Hello? Hello. Hi. I love you too, babe. What's up? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it's over on that computer table. Yeah, yeah, because I couldn't. <laughs> the garage, that's funny. That'd be the last place I'd put it. I'd put it in our bedroom before I put it in our garage. <laughs> I'm sorry. I remember taking it down there and I, I got distracted. Imagine that. And I, I just, I know I set it somewhere and I think that's where it's at. It's in the basement somewhere. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Love you. Bye. My husband. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear him on the phone or not, but He's making chili, so we're making chili with venison. That's so good. But we we do that in the Instant Pot, and he couldn't find the Instant Pot, and I was telling him that I took it down to the basement, and I didn't put it where it normally goes, which is a horrible habit of mine. And he's like, I even looked in the garage. <laughs> That's the last place I would put a food item, <laughs> but he was desperate. That's funny. You're so excited for the cat. Awesome. It is a really cute design. I guess I should zoom out so y'all can see it. I love the little cat face. So all I have to do, all that's left to do is the trees. I wanna do some whiskers on him with some back stitching, the stars, and then just these little trees here. And those won't take long. It's just all these individual little leaves here that are taking a little bit, but that's okay. I'm hanging out with y'all. It's good. It's good. Yeah, venison chili. Mm, so good. And we normally put potatoes in our chili. It just kind of cuts the acidic from the tomato base and all that, but we don't have any potatoes, so we're not doing that. What's everyone doing today? Or what are you making for dinner? What's going on? Hello from Idaho. Hi, Wendy. Thank you, Mendy. Hi, Daisy. No, you didn't miss much. I'm just, just working on those leaves. Right in here, it's a mess. I know I didn't, I like, I didn't announce on Facebook or on Instagram or anywhere that I was going to go live. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. I'm getting ready to go up to the house to upload my floss tube video, but I know I won't work on this live up there. Too many distractions and my husband's up there. And so I thought I'll just do this real quick before I head up there. I say, whoops, I say real quick, but you know, it, this is not hard work at all. It's just time consuming. 
in it, these leaves, a lot of them you'll think, God, they're so boxy and square. They're not going to look like leaves, but they really do read like leaves. That one doesn't just the way I did that, <laughs> but they will. It's getting really tight in this area. I don't know what's going on here. I think I have too many leaves in there. I'm going to have to do something about that. So what's everyone's weather like? Is is everyone, uh, yeah, the kitty's gonna have whiskers. I'm gonna do that. <gasps> Who's that? Daisy, you're making fish tacos. Oh, I've never made them. And, and I resisted fish tacos for years. And then I was at a restaurant and I'm like, I'm gonna give it a shot. And I love fish tacos. It sounds so gross to me, but it's delicious. I love them. So, I, if you have an awesome recipe, would you be willing to share it? Because I would love to learn how to make fish tacos. I wouldn't really know what kind of fish, maybe cod. You can use cod. Cod is nice and mild. Wait, just a tablespoon. What are we doing here? Use milk to cut the acidity. Oh, thank you, Janet. I like that. Just a tablespoon will do it. Cool. Rainy and wet. You are ready for snow? Oh, wait. I said, how did I get wet out of that, Cheryl? Rainy and getting ready for snow. Such a cute design we're having. Rain, okay. Oh my gosh. Beef stew and dumplings. Ribeye steaks. Oh my gosh, my mouth's watering. Okay, beer batter fish. Awesome. It's snowing there, Wendy. Where are you at? You probably said when you joined, but I don't remember. Oh, Idaho. Yeah, the weather's kind of crappy. I show on my floss tube that I just recorded today, I show pictures of our pond. Our pond in the winter is normally just pathetic looking, like hardly any water in it. One year it was so low that we lost a ton of our fish. We had huge catfish in our pond at one time and they all died because there just wasn't enough water in it. It was pretty sad. Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. So, to see the pond as full as it, as it is right now in the middle of winter, it's a good sign that it'll be nice and full in the spring. Because in the winter, it's not, the water is not going to evaporate like it does in the summer. So it's a good deal. I just hope there's no flooding. Sometimes I. It's like, oh, there's all this flooding. I said, okay, that's not good. Warm in North Carolina, but rainy. Perfect day to punch and participate in my live video. Yes, good day to punch or stitch or quilt or whatever. It's just gloomy. Mexico, they use black tip shark. But here in Washington, you use cod. I've never had shark. Shark seems like it would be tough, like a tough meat. I guess, oops, just because they look like they would be tough. I've never been to Mexico either. Oh, I gotta get my plane ticket to go see my mom. I'm going to mess around and end up paying a lot more if I don't hurry up and do that. Wooly girl. Hi, Pam in South Alabama, not too far from Dolphin Island. Very stormy today. So you must have saw the, my floss tube about Dolphin Island when I went there with Kristen and her daughter. I enjoyed it so much. It's just funny that the very first day <laughs> Kristen got, I mean, it's not funny that she got 
bit by a crab, but I mean, we had no idea that it was the whatever. I can't remember what it was called now. So we didn't go in the water. I'm not a big fan anyways of getting in the ocean, but her and her daughter are. And it's like, no, not doing it. Hi, Anne. Rainy day in Louisville, Kentucky. Had to push my golden retriever out the door. She doesn't like the rain. That is so funny because I did the same thing. My dog this morning, she goes out on the porch. And even just if she hears the rain, she does this thing almost like a cat where she kind of hunches up her back and cowers down. Her little head goes down. And I'm like, you get out there and go potty. And she wouldn't. So I had to like take my foot and like shove her a little bit. She gave me the dirtiest look. So I grabbed my jacket and I went outside with her and I stood in the rain because then she'll go. She's like, you get out of here. And I did. And she went. And then we both made a beeline for the door to get back inside. That's so funny. What kind of dog do you have? Oh, and cilantro. Yes, Daisy. I love cilantro. Oh, golden retriever. Jeez, I'll be okay, really. I love golden retrievers. Ah, oh, my favorite breed. And I I had one. His name was Cody. He was only four months old and he got hit by a car. It was just horrifying. It was horrible. All right, this tree, I'm getting this tree done. Rainy here in Washington and expecting snow. Who have you been watching on floss tube, guys? I should say girls. Who did I watch this morning? Oh, I watched Olivia, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Watched her this morning. Probably by now, Priscilla and Chelsea has theirs ready. I usually end up watching theirs. Like if I'm at the house and I'm sitting and doing punch needle or something, I'll watch theirs as soon as it comes out. But if I'm busy that day, I have to wait till Monday. I'm starting a new punch needle today. I cannot wait. Oh, I'm on the wrong color. Dog on it. She's afraid of the dark. Oh my gosh, poor baby. Aw, 15 years, wow, for a big dog like that. That's really good. They're such a gentle breed, golden retrievers. Oh my gosh, I just love little Cody. <laughs> if you yelled at him, he'd pee, like no matter where he was, it was. Part of his charm, he was just a little baby. There's is up, I figured it was by now. You watched him already? Oh gosh, yeah, it's going on four. Oh my gosh, four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. There's just usually up by one. I am blown away by their consistency, I have to say. I would love to be able to film at the same time and have it up the same time so everyone could count on it. But y'all, that's not gonna happen anytime soon for me. But I admire them for that. They are on top of it. It's awesome, you know. And it's really nice too for people, you know, cause they know what time they're gonna be posting it. So they're like ready and waiting. It's awesome. But I suppose if you are doing floss tube with someone else, you, you know, consistency helps <clears throat> because you guys, you know, they both plan on it. I just kind of do mine when I can. 
But if I had another person saying, ah, well, you know, we need to stick to a schedule, then I would. I used to film always on Friday, which I liked that, but Saturday just seems to work better for me because Friday is still part of the work week and I'm still trying to get like orders out and uh, you know, it's still a mailing day, I guess you could say. I still can run to the post office if I need to. And so uh, Saturday just works better. I don't know what is going on right there. That is just, I'm just going to erase all of that. Hey, maybe I can show you a little sneak peek of the sampler I'm working on. You want to see it? House of Stitch and St oh that that's isn't that Rika? I think. Saltbox Stitcher, yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, when I get up to the house, I'm gonna upload mine. So it'll be well, it depends on when I get done with this, but it takes a good two hours for mine to upload because I don't have like cable internet and it takes a while. I don't have dial up. I'm one step above that <laughs> DSL. So it's through the phone line, you know, so I take what I can get. I had, um, what was it? Not dish. What did I have? Oh, I can't remember now. Anyway, it was through the satellite and I, I paid a hundred dollars a month for it. And it really wasn't that good. And I thought this is for the birds. So I got rid of it. They might've come a long ways too with the satellite internet. I just keep plugging along with my DSL. And I like get a hold of the phone company every so often and say, hey, are there any upgrades? Cause they won't come out and just upgrade. You have to call them. I call every so often. Is there any upgrades or if it starts getting janky where I have to reset it a lot, then I'll call them and I'll say, okay, I'm having issues and they'll come out and get me a new modem or whatever. And then it will work great for another few months. And they're always improving that stuff. Oh, I was, I'm, I see all these. Yes, yes, yes. I'm like, what are they saying yes to? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me save this. I haven't saved this in a while. Save. Uh, it's not there. I think it's down here. Yeah, right here. Don't be screenshotting this, y'all. <laughs> what is going on? I'm not done. Oops, I'm not done with that house. That middle house. Lord have mercy. The middle house is going to have stone on the bottom, but the border, oh my gosh, I'm the border. Isn't that fun? I love this border. So there is my very early stages of my next sampler. Yes, heaven and earth. Thank you, Barbara. I love designing the samplers that way because, you know, I just start with the blank screen and I go, hmm, maybe I'll put a house here. And if I don't like it there, I can move it. And it's, you know, it's not, I'm not starting with the sketch. So I don't have any perimeters or any guidelines. I just can just do what I, what I want. Thank you. You love the border. Cool. <laughs> I like the clapping hands. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, I can't remember who mentioned or asked me and I, I address it in my next floss tube video. But someone asked me if I was gonna design a patriotic sampler and that's what did it. I'm like, ooh, yeah, I'm definitely going to because I love red, white and blue and all that. So I know it, it 
leaves out, you know, people from Canada and, you know, other places, but other countries and that, but um, it's not like I'm doing all of them level under. All right, starting to look a little bit like a willow, isn't it? I know willows have a lot longer strands, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Swoon. Thank you. You're designing for Nashville now? Cool. What's the name of your business? What? All right, so you're going to the Nashville show? Cool. What's your room number? I have to come say hi. My room number is 407. We had the same room for... I want to say since I've been doing that show. And the reason I keep it is for obvious reasons, because my customers know where I'm at. Also, I know the layout of the room and I really, I mean, all the rooms are the same pretty much, but I know the layout of that room, like the back of my hand and we can um, get it set up pretty quick. Not having surprises, I guess, you know. Oh, what did I do that for? All right, let's see. A few more leaves and we're done with the tree. And I might go back in later too and clean some of the leaves up. You know, to, I'll take a closer look at it but uh, I don't want this to go too long. From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. I missed a year and lost my room. Oh no, but Hoffman will have my charts. Cool. Dang, that's a bummer. You missed a year and you can't, so you can't get in now you're like on the waiting list or you're going to be there you just don't have the same room yeah i mean it's a hot show and i can't even imagine doing the show we've done the show since yarn tree and uh, needlework retailer took it over and i can't imagine if something happened and we couldn't make it one year and then not be able to get back in, it'd be awful. I want to be able to chart scripture and or quotes. Would this software be good for that? Yes. Okay, so you're on the wait list. Yeah. Um, this program is, I mean, it's Mac Stitch, but if you have a PC, they have PC Stitch. And it's just basically, I'm going to assume it's pretty much like what I'm doing here. I had my color. So, because this foreground color, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but. Oh, probably Oscar. So I've got Kudzu, Oscar. And so my three grains are Juniper, Oscar, and Kudzu. Yep, just like it says. So I was doing Kudzu for that. So Oscar is going to be the ground here. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to go ahead and... So if I go up here to brush and pick that, see how it is a lot faster doing it that way instead of doing one block at a time. And I nobody showed me how to use Mac Stitch. It's one of those things where you just kind of figure it out, whoops, as you go. And I don't do like beading or any fancy stitches. I mean, I have some. Somebody told me it's three-quarter stitch. I was calling them half stitches, but they're three-quarter stitches. 
I have some of that going on, but not in every design even. Well, I hope you can get back in, Wendy. This chart is not part of my Nashville release. This chart is a free chart for y'all. It's just something I want to do. I only have one other free chart and I want to do more of that as a thank you for everyone's support of my work. So this was one of five sketches that everyone got to vote on. There were five different things people could vote on and this is the one that won for me to do the live design with me and then to be a free chart. So it will be available on my blog. I'm probably gonna make another page on my blog like I did for recipes and finishing tutorials and it will say free patterns or free charts maybe free patterns that way if I do punch needle, that will be on there too. And so you'll find it there. I haven't created that page yet, so don't go look for it right now. <laughs> Not there, but it'll be a PDF, downloadable PDF for you. Laura said, I've said it before, but thank you for doing this. It is so helpful to me. I'm so happy to help out. Absolutely. That's one of the things that I love about this community. Like there's room for everyone. We, you know, every designer has their own style, their own look, and there's room for all of us. And, and to help one another, I'm all for that. <laughs> I know if you watch my floss tube, you've heard it before, but I'm gonna say it again. I only had punch needle available for, I don't remember how many years. And I had so many stores saying, oh, you know, we like your designs, but we don't sell punch needle. You need to do it in cross stitch. And stupid me, not that I ignored them, but I thought, I don't even know how to do cross stitch, let alone how do you design it? And I, I didn't know the first thing about it. So finally, the one year I was like, that's this, this is it. I mean, I've got to figure this thing out. So while I was in Nashville, I went and saw here I go again with names. I'm so bad with names. Summer House Stitch Works, Beth. I believe her name is Beth. Can't think of her last name. I went and talked with her and she told me about Mac Stitch. And then, you know, I was like back in my room and I'm thinking about, oh gosh, you know, okay, so I had the program and all that, but I still, I don't have time to learn how to cross stitch. You know, what am I going to do about that? So I knew of Myrtle Grace and she did she had cross stitch and punch needle like she would do a punch needle and then she'd have the same pattern as a cross stitch so i'm like well i'm gonna go talk to her and see you know how she does both how does she have time to do both and i went and talked with her and she's like oh well you know you can have model stitchers do the stitching for you and all that so i was like oh genius so that's how i found out about you know so if it wasn't for the two of them, I wouldn't be designing cross stitch. So that's what, like I said, I love about this community is that we're all here to help each other and no one's like, oh, I'm not gonna tell that to her. You know, it's just not like that. You are welcome, ladies. You're welcome. What? We don't see much about how the sausage is made. <laughs> you know, and this is just how I do it. Oh, I know Beth Twist did a design with me. She uses a different program than I do. She was, she designed, so go to her heartstring samplery 
go to her floss tube video and she has a design with me video as well. I don't remember what program she uses. Oh my goodness, the star is giving me fits. All right, so that looks good over here. Now, I'm gonna make this middle little humpty hump of grass the light color. My husband's probably like, what is she doing down there? She said she was coming up. <laughs> Annie B's folk are, hi. Welcome, welcome. I'm getting, see like my knuckle, this knuckle right here because I'm using like a track pad and I'm using my finger to move the cursor around and it's starting to ache because I was designing last night, that border and all that took me a while on that other one. And yeah, I can feel it starting to hurt so but I'm almost done I'm not whining maybe a little bit I'm gonna make that black sorry my nose itches every time I get on it seems like <laughs> Carol says the same thing from salt box stitcher she, her nose always itches when she's recording what's the deal with that but it's the truth. So a lot of times I will do like the outline and then I'll go in with that bigger uh, tool. Hold on, I don't like that part. Let's go into our reds. Let's fix the barn here. There's only that, farmers are like, yeah, if it only was that easy to fix the barn. You love watching this evolve. Thank you, Paulette. Truly it takes time and skill. I have no ambitions to design. I just want to be able to personalize some things and some words. Yeah, this, this would be great. I know some other designers. I don't know who though. If any of one knows, type their name in there. But they'll have like, I don't know if it's a freebie or if it's a pair you buy, but they'll have alphabets so that you can use those alphabets to personalize your stuff. That's something I should do. And just have it as a freebie, have some alphabets. That way, you know, Anyone could use them and have some cursive, have some that look like eyelet stitches, you know, the different fonts. Oh, my finger. But yeah, that might be helpful, huh? So when I was down here for What You Paint on Wednesday, I think I mentioned this in my floss tube video too. I don't want to tell you everything that's in my floss tube video because you're gonna be like, I'm not gonna watch it. She just told me everything. <laughs> but I turned my furnace off because it's so stinking loud. And I forgot to turn it back on. Well, I gotta quit doing that. My husband said, instead of turning it off, just turn it way down. That way, if you forget to turn it back on, the pipes won't freeze. He just told me that today. So I'm like, duh. So I'm gonna start doing that. Because I came down here Friday, because Thursday I have my grandbabies all day. So I don't come down here. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I had it on that thing again. So if you do a big mistake like that, you just go up and hit edit, undo typing, and then pick just that one. Anyways, I came down here on Friday and it was only 48 degrees in here. My furnace ran and ran and ran and ran and ran <laughs> to get. So like I put it on, well, I put it on 65 and then I just, I'm like, it ran forever. And I was like, okay, now I'm starting to sweat. So I think I put it on 63, but yeah, it's, 
it's just that my furnace is ridiculously loud when I'm trying to videotape or go live or whatever. Oh, I can't see the comments. Hold on. You're ordering this immediately. It's just downloadable to your device, Laura. I can't re I can't know what I pay for it. I've had it for years and years and years. So I don't remember. The price may have changed, may have went down. They may have, you know, more than likely they have a oops, upgraded version to a newer one than mine. Oh golly, I have all this down here. Wonder if evidently my husband found the instant pot. God <laughs> bless him. All right. Oh, I got these little trees. We're so close to being done, ladies. I was making those light. Yes. <gasps> I'm on that big block again. I'm so excited for Nashville. It's just, number one, it's so much fun, but it's just so exciting, you know, when you have new designs that you love and you're excited about. And I love the shop owners. I mean, these ladies, what, they're having so much fun. They're so pleasant and smiling and laughing. And it's just a good time, a total blast. And it will be here before you know it. I cannot believe how fast time flies. It's a little bit scary to be honest. Oopsie. Oh, guess what guys? You know how we're working on the other side of the studio there? Well, there's still a lot to do on it, but we're at a point where I can get all the patterns put over there now. The only thing I don't have that I need is I need to get a computer, a, la a new laptop for my husband. I mean, it can be like a refurbished or whatever, but um, he's gonna need something over there for shipping orders because my computer over here that has Indicia on it for my shipping program, it's a desktop and I can't give him my desktop because there's so much art on it and stuff that I still use. So anyways, I can get the patterns over there where it'll just be so much more organized. I have so much more room so I can have more inventory because the new release that I just had, I have no room over here to put those patterns. So it couldn't come at a better time. So next week I will be doing that getting everything over there and organized. I cannot wait. And then what's awesome is we're gonna start making room over on this side of the studio for, I, like I wanna have a finishing area where all my ribbons, all my fabrics, everything I need for finishing in one area. Because especially now that I'm trying to record when I finish, I have to, go get everything I need. I had to set up the tripod, set up the camera. I have to do all this stuff. And I waste so much time prepping for things. It's, it's just a shame. And then like for what you paint Wednesdays, I have to set all my stuff up for that. Then I have to change it around when I film for floss tubes. So <laughs> I want to have all these areas just ready to go. So when I'm ready to finish everything's at my fingertips and organization is another goal for 2020 i gotta get organized i'm so tired of looking for stuff i would i would lose my head if it wasn't attached to my body i swear oh i haven't looked at comments in a while you know i haven't saved this in a while either file save fifty dollars i mean that's just so worth it isn't it I'm a font geek of new server. Can you load fonts somehow? That I do not know, Laura, I'm sorry. I've been to Nashville for so many markets. So hard to miss. Oh, 
you should come anyways and just like visit everyone. It actually be kind of fun to come and just have the time to go in each room and visit with the designers and because that's the one thing that is very difficult is like I would love to go visit with Teresa Vanette. So last year Teresa kept passing each other in the in the I'll say the aisle way, but the hallway or whatever. And we just never connected because Sunday is really the only day that is, you know, slows down enough in the afternoon that you can get out of your room. And so the unfortunate part though, is when you can get out of your room and go walk around, all the other designers are doing the same thing. So you kind of miss them, but no, oh well, you do what you can do. So this star, I'm just kind of filling this in and then go back in and clean it up. After the star, it's done. So I will have this available for y'all here sometime this weekend, maybe even today, possibly. My husband had a gig, I think I mentioned earlier, he was gonna be gone tonight. So I planned on working my little fingers to the bone and doing punch needle until like 11 o'clock and <laughs> I was gonna do all kinds of things. I was gonna do all the things, but then uh, his gig got canceled because of the weather. So, but I can still do punch needle. We can run a movie or something. He's like, how do you, how do you do your punch to do and watch a movie? How do you know what's going on? It's fun. Women are excellent multitaskers. We were born that way. It's a gift from God. So I'm gonna ask y'all a question because you're helping me design this. What do you, do you want a border on this? Oh, I got to put his little whispers on too. Do you want a border on this? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I changed those stars to full stitches because once they're stitched, they look like stars. It's not, yeah. So not, yes. Yeah, so now it's date night. He's on the couch. I'm in the lazy boy. I'm doing punch needle. <laughs> That's date night. He wants date night. He has to take me out. Let's put the little whiskers on. Let's see. Maybe here. No, I don't like that. It's too high. Like it without the border. Yeah, like that black, that's just there because of my sketch. I think I'm gonna take that out. Let's see, this might be okay. Eh. How long have we been on here? I didn't even look at the clock what time I started. No, it doesn't say. Is that too high? I don't feel too high. I don't know, what do you think? You like his little whiskers? Yeah, I'm gonna take that border off. Let's erase that border. Actually, I'm gonna get this big brush here and I'll go quicker. I know, I love his little janky mouth, his little sideways mouth, he's so cute. We want all the things, we sound like bad children. <laughs> it's okay. I started watching something on, I believe it's Netflix. You guys, it's so good. If you like, a what are they psychological thriller is that what they call those it's called dirty john 
And the reason I started watching it is because Connie Britton is the main actress on there. Connie Britton, I will watch anything she's in. I fell in love with her on Nashville. The show, wasn't that on, that was a TV series, I think, but I think I watched it on Hulu. Anyways, and I could seriously start, it's not on anymore. You have to watch reruns, but it, there were several seasons of Nashville and I would actually watch it again because I loved it so much. I loved the music. I loved the acting. I loved that show. And I loved Connie Britton on it. And when she wasn't on it anymore, I was just devastated. <laughs> so now anything she's in, I watch. But so I happened to, you know, be stumbling around on Netflix and I saw uh, it was her and it said Dirty John. I'm like, well, let's check this out. It's so it just so freaky. It freaks me out. It really freaks me out, but it's so good. Right, Daisy? Growing up, no fun. <laughs> Get that border out of here. If you give you a border those that don't want one can leave it off that's true but i already took it off sorry oh my gosh you guys look how cute so now i'm going to show you something watch this this is cool oh the other thing i have to do before we go oh did you guys like the whiskers i forgot to, to see if anyone commented on that it is way easier to frame something that has no border Marlene, you are so right because otherwise it stretches and yeah, I totally get that. Hubby is installing my program. Daisy, seriously, you're getting it installed right now. I love it. If you get, yes. You might have to get PC stitch, yes. Okay. So what I wanted to show you is this. Now we're gonna go and I put it on symbols. We got to zoom in though, because a lot of times, ah, that doesn't actually look bad. When I put it on symbols, I like to check and make sure that there's not some symbols that are too similar. When I first started designing, I was bad at that. I totally would forget about checking that. Like, look at what is up with that? There's some spots that don't have. And this is another place where when you look at just the symbols, you'll notice things like right here, see that and that? There's no stitches there. Let me go back and look at the color blocks. Yeah, see right there and right there, a little bit gray, it's the background that jumped out at me when I was on symbols. Other than that, I would have totally missed that. Whiskers are perfect, thank you. Okay, so like that house, that looks good. I don't like that the threes and the twos are too similar. So I wanna change, yeah, it's, it's too difficult. I'm gonna change the two, no, I'm gonna change the three to something that is easier to see like that H. Now watch, watch right here. Oh, over here, I mean, watch these trees. See how the H, and now you can tell the H's from the twos in this tree, so much better. What's that, hold on, I see one. Old eyes can't tell the difference between a half circle and the heart. Okay, where do I have a half circle? Oh, you mean just in general. See, I don't like right here. I've got a plus and there's a there's a couple arrows in the X. So I think like a plus and an X to me, that's just too, too similar. So, and a lot of times too, it depends on where it's at in the design. If you only have a small section where there might be those pluses, like, okay, for instance, on a snowman's nose, if there's, no orange in the whole entire thing, and it's just the snowman nose, 
you could get away with something that looks similar to something else because people know that the nose is going to be orange. But I really, I do my best to make the symbols different enough to not be confusing. And I'm not saying I'm perfect at it either because I'm not by any stretch of the imagination. So that yellow, that's the arrow. I'm changing that arrow. Let's change it to that. That way it's way different than that plus. No other designer's chart had, had that. Had what, I'm sorry. So let's go down here and look at the barn and see. See the barn to me is, I can't even tell what is going on. So, and what I try to do too is light colors. I try to make the symbol so that it's not something heavy. So like if I make that an A, look at how much easier that is to see. And then what is, what is this color? Oh, that's an off white. I was thinking that was a light gray. Okay, another thing that I wanna do. So when I get to this point, more than likely there's more colors here than are even being used in there because when I bring it in, it just picks all these colors. So this is when, when I get done designing, what I wanna go do is I go to palette, remove all unused threads from the palette. Now watch, if you can see, look right here. See all these colors? I bet you. let me see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15 colors. I bet you some of those will be removed, let's hope. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, four. Okay, I only got one. I thought I'm gonna disappear. Here's another thing I do. Go back to color blocks. So if I, let me miniaturize this. Let me zoom out. Because, oh, I bet it's that. No, I don't, yeah, that's probably right. This hydrangea right here, I have no idea what that is. And more than likely, so what you can do too is like I click on hydrangea. Okay, look at down here, guys. See where my cursor is? It says stitches one. There's only one of those. So I'm going to bet you that there, that is probably supposed to be this week's Dye Works 1173. So what I like to do, there's a couple ways to do it. You can say palette, flash stitches. Oh, look at, see where it's flashing right here? So now I just go in or and then I go, okay, where was it again? So what you can do so that it stands out is go to palette, edit current thread, and I'll put it on like some crazy fluorescent color like that and hit done. And then I'll see where it's at. Zoom in. Okay, so now I can see it's here. So I'm just gonna erase that. And then I'm gonna say palette, remove all unused threads from the palette. So that's gonna go away. Ta-da! Picking symbols can be hard. There are not always a lot of good ones to use. Plus you are never sure how they will print. Exactly. Hi, Teresa, I'm watching in England. Hi, as I'm visiting my daughter and family. Love this chart. How cool. Yes. Bubba Lynn 49. This is a free chart. As soon as I'm finished designing it, I'm going to download the PDF and put it on my blog. So on my next, so I'm going to upload a floss tube today. I will put the link in the description box on that floss tube video. It's floss tube number 59. All right. I've gotten rid of all the unused. Now I'm gonna go back into symbols and just double check the symbols. Another way to really check the symbols 
is do this, file, print. Put it on symbols and then, let me see. Um, I'm gonna try to make it as big as I can for you. Oops. So see over here where it says four pages. I think this will be good on two pages, but I want to make it as big as I can. I do want to put the title in um, Cat Over the Willow Freebie. I put that so I know I don't get mixed up and think. It doesn't take much to confuse me. Copyright 2020, Teresa Colgitz, Creative Whims. Make that bigger, I want the key, okay. So now if, when I preview it, that really helps. And there's a lot of, I still think the barn, I still think I need to separate some of the colors. The house looks awesome. I think the barn needs to be fixed. So I'm just gonna hit cancel. And I'm gonna zoom in. We're just about done. It is 4.30. Yeah, I need to go. So what I want to do then is for crimson. I mean, crimson is a dark color. So let's go in and find something that would be really dark. Like ah, that flower, though, that gets kind of confusing. Um, sometimes I think these work good. See how it changed this, but man, it looks close to that, doesn't it? Zoom in. No, that's not gonna work. Let's do, you know what? C, that's always a good one. So that way it's still dark, but it, it's separated from these. And then this arrow is bugging me. This other gray, I think that should be a lighter. So we have a, let's do this backwards three. Okay, so now we have the, the roof of the barn is light. Okay, I don't like this eye. Let's change the eye to maybe one of these. In N, N, that should be super light. I'm gonna make that. Maybe C. Okay, now watch this. File, print, preview. Let's go look over here at the barn. See how much that barn now actually looks like a barn and you can see the, the roof is separated from the rest of it. It looks so much better. Okay. I think I'm ready to export this. Do you guys see any changes you want me to make or errors or anything? Maybe before I export it, I'll actually take a look at it again. But um, I think it looks good. I'm excited. Okay, so this way you can see it. There you go. Cat over the willow. Isn't it cute? So thank you everyone for being here. I do, Jana. I have the best followers. You guys are the best. Is there a right and left arrow that always confuses me? Yeah, if you go into the symbols. I try not to do more than one arrow. I, I like the looks of an arrow. Well, there's an, look, okay, so right here, there's a diagonal arrow. There is a left arrow and then somewhere, oh, there's a down arrow. There's a diagonal, go <laughs> There's a lot of arrows 
I mean, here's an arrow, it's a different shape, but yeah, I, I really do my best. And I'm, like I said, I'm not great at it, but I do my best to make sure my symbols don't, aren't confusing. I'm better at it than I used to be when I first started, so. You're welcome, Teresa. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you everyone for being here. Now, here's the real challenge for me. <laughs> I have to figure out how to stop this. So I'm gonna end the meeting, but more than likely it's gonna continue recording until I go into YouTube and figure out how to stop it there, like I did last time. So again, thanks everyone for being here. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope you get lots of stitching done. It is so gloomy and it's about to get really like really nasty here with ice. So that's what I'll be doing, doing some punch needle. Thanks. Bye.